My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. As a biologist, like any field of science, claiming any knowledge you have can be a slippery slope if there's any chance you could be wrong. Here on Snakes on the Brain, I do everything I can to make sure the information I'm sharing is correct. But even still, I make mistakes. If you're familiar with snakes in the wild or snakes in captivity, you've likely heard of hognose snakes. They're a common pet and can exceed 20 years in captivity. As for hognoses in the wild, they're an exciting find. Is that insane? The hognoses we know and love in the United States are grouped into the genus Heterodon, two of which can be found in the state of Florida. The most prevalent is the eastern hognose snake, which can be found throughout the entire eastern United States. The other, however, is restricted only to the southeastern states. This is the southern hognose snake. Both species can be found in almost any given area in the state of Florida where there's suitable habitat. And they usually aren't too difficult for someone as experienced as myself to tell apart. And yet I still misidentified my first southern hognose snake as an eastern. Okay, Craig just said he saw hognose. I don't know if it's gonna be an eastern or a southern. My guess is southern. Let's see what it turns out to be. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even think of it. I thought it was Where? Where did you see it? I was just like walking through here and just on the ground. I'm like, is that a snake? I'm like, no f***ing way. That's a hog nose. And the minute I pick him up, he starts playing dead. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to be a simus too. No, that's an eastern. Definitely an eastern. So here we have... The southern hognose snake. This was a huge target and an amazing snake to see here in Florida because it is one of two species of hognose snake you can find in Florida. The southern being much more restricted to sandy uplands of the southeastern United States. At first, I thought for sure this was an eastern hognose snake because if you look at its pattern, it's got a fair amount of orange on it. And normally southern hognose snakes don't have this much orange, but they can sometimes. And this is one of those instances where you get kind of like an orangish, eastern hognosey looking southern hognose. But another great telltale sign is the nose. So all hognose snakes, of course, get their name because they have that up upturned snout. That one giant scale on the front of their face that gives it its name is called the rostral scale. The rostral scale on an eastern hognose snake is not nearly as upturned as the southern hognose snake, um, which is a great way to tell the difference. As for coloration, um, eastern hognose snakes have a lot of variation, whereas southerns don't quite as much. So of course, as hognoses do, their defense mechanism, uh, as soon as they get messed with by a hiker or a predator, of course, they are going to immediately start to play dead. Eastern hognose snakes are the snake of snakes when it comes to playing dead. They are just they are so dramatic with it, they put on a whole show. Whereas southern hognose snakes, they do it too, but not quite as much as an eastern hognose snake. That might be another way to tell the difference, but it's not probably the same among all individuals. Sometimes people will find southern hognose snakes that don't play dead at all. And that was another reason why I thought this was an eastern hognose snake, is it immediately went to playing dead, opening its mouth and doing that classic dis uh, playing dead display. Now for those of you with a fear of snakes, Hognose snakes are one of the best snakes out there in terms of getting over your fears of snakes because, I mean, how cute is that? They just got such a cute face. Despite not being a rattlesnake, they are actually a venomous snake, but only mildly. They are a mildly venomous snake, and if I were to ever get bitten and injected with venom, the most that would happen would be similar symptom symptoms to that of like a bee sting. So I'd probably swell up a little bit and maybe a little, local, little bit of localized pain and that'd be it. These guys have enlarged fangs in the back of their mouth, which is more used to pop the toads that they eat rather than actually inject venom, but they do both. When toads feel threatened, they inflate themselves with air, make, themsel make themselves as big and scary and unswallowable as possible, and those little fangs poke little holes that deflate the toad, making them easier to swallow and injecting the toads with venom in the process. So despite this snake being a venomous snake, it is still completely harmless, which is wonderful. And he's not tried to bite me at all. He's way too scared and way too adorable and silly to do so. Now, in case you're wondering, does the southern hognose snake make a good pet? Because as we know, one of the most common snakes to keep as a pet is the plains hognose snake. The southern hognose snake, despite being a very similar snake, is not a good pet 
at all. Kind of like an Eastern hognose snake is also not a good pet. Westerns maybe, Easterns definitely not. And I can safely say that the Southern hognose snake is probably not a good pet as well. Um, so if you see one in the wild, definitely a snake you want to leave out in the wild. Consider yourself lucky, absolutely. Um, but don't take it home with you and try to keep it as a pet. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to educate yourself on the southern hognose snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cuter snake. Just kidding, this is as cute as it gets. Seeing a hognose snake in the wild has been my dream ever since I learned about them. Their famous defense display is nothing short of amusing, and their pattern is more beautiful in person than I imagined. And no matter what species it happens to be, any hognose snake is an exceptional encounter in my book. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like, and if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.